fun times, fun times. Hi everyone, this is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream. Today, today is March 24th, 2021. And uh, we're doing the last stream in an 11 set live stream. Nine of them announced, two of them unannounced. The unannounced ones, the kitty cats are going crazy. Uh, the unannounced ones was one of them was a comic book haul, and one of them was us putting together a summative for a factoring uh, module that we're gonna put together for the math content that we're creating, right? And um, more of that coming, or more on that, and more of that coming, as well as more comic book calls, of course, right? Aside from that, uh, welcome to another live stream. Uh, we're doing investing in personal finance. We started this, I guess, 11 set live stream uh, schedule or nine schedule to unscheduled with current events, I believe. And I figured we'd end it with investing in personal finance because they do overlap. As we've mentioned before, we should be considering economics and politics just like space time. It's one word. They are related. They impact each other. They govern each other. And uh, you can pretty much see where things are going if you have one eye here and one eye here, right? Ray wins. How are you doing? Did you get your horse back from the hospital yet? <laughs> the kitty cat. The kitty cats are going crazy. Void hook. How are you doing? Yo, yo, let's go. I'll add the let's go. Uh, boop. Sun. Fallo. Sun. Fallo. Where do I end that? Do you have any comments on the GME and AMC shorts versus retail investor saga? Sorry if you have, and I missed it before. Uh, for sure, I have my opinion on it, and we actually put out a video on it. Uh, if you do, let me grab it for you. Let me find it for you. You're great, thanks. <laughs> I try my best. I try my best. Here, let me see if I can find it for you. Um, Chicho GameStop. You should Chicho GameStop in DuckDuckGo should bring up the video. Chicho GameStop. Here you go. Here. If you do Chicho GameStop, you'll get the right video. Let me copy it for you. It's a good video. It's a very good video. It's a fantastic video. <laughs> I skipped over some stuff and some stuff I should have mentioned I didn't mention. Um, um, but after that, if you have questions, let us know. And gang, don't forget, free Assange, free Assange, free Assange. Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity. For more information, see wikileaks.org, defend.wikileaks.org, or Julian Assange and WikiLeaks playlist on Censor Two. Zabrowski, good evening, good evening, Zabrowski, Slick, Mick, Chicho, hey bro, and Chad, wish I could stay on, but it's 2.30 a.m. when I have a test war. I have sweet dreams. I hope you studied hard before you went to sleep, so even in your sleep, you're going to be solving problems, you're going to wake up having answers for some of the questions that you had, and you'll go into the exam and kick ass, right? Brando has Facebook just muted my video for seven years ago. Copyright claim. I know <laughs> it's a joke. <laughs> Facebook, Twitter, push, push, gone, gone, right? Uh, oh, thank you so much. I should have checked. No worries. No, it's, it's, it's a legit question, man. Like, what are the odds of me putting a video just specifically related to that out there? Um, you know, my hand, my plate's pretty full, right? So. I had the opportunity, I put it out there, right? See Death 420, how you doing? Long time, long time. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Censor book, censor book. <laughs> Facebook censor book. Awesome. Censor too. Hi. This is Via here. The kitty cats woke up about 45 minutes ago and they take a little bit of time, stretch for an hour ago. And then after about half an hour, you feed them, they get that protein in them and they got to go. Right, slick make fail to prepare, prepare to fail, night chat. 
I'm going to ace it. Awesome, awesome, Slick Mac. Censor <laughs> Twitter. <laughs> Twitter. <laughs> I apologize in advance for falling asleep soon. Ah, oh, sweet dreams. Sweet dreams, meandering press. Hi, Via. Hi, Sal. Ha ha. Kitty cats. They're saying hi to you. Gang, I am on Patreon. If you want to follow this work, if you want to know what this work is about, you can follow the work on Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash Chicho, C H Y C H O. For those of you that were supporting this work on Patreon, thank you very much for the support, gang. Uh, I know I appreciate it, and I know there's a lot of people appreciating that we do have some support here to continue the work that we are doing. Uh, Brack. Braca God 98 thank you very very much for redeeming uh, 500 points just a heads up you can save your points okay and this year we will do an auction the same way we did last year where people can bid use their points to bid on items that we're gonna have as a giveaway and whoever bids the most wins and then you can redeem your points last year we gave away honey unpasteurized local honey uh, chicho jam uh chicho comic books uh memory publications that i published as well as a couple of books on psychedelics and theogens graham how are you doing l and r i'm not sure what that refers to l and r and r jules how are you doing hey chicho first time i've ever caught a stream been subscribed for years awesome dwayne dwayne jules welcome to our live stream and thank you for uh, following the work for a long time appreciate it man uh, appreciate it and welcome to twitch welcome to our live stream brando his chicho a very uh, a very important and a grave matter what's your snack to oh snack tonight snack tonight let's check it out let's check it out i got some goodness going on right um these are inside here i don't know if you'll see it i should have brought like flashlight or something <laughs> inside here i'll bring it out with a spoon but let me see if i can show it it's dark right inside here is the roasted sunflower seeds with salt so not roasted but pan fried and what i did what i did i added chocolate chips to it okay so it's roasted or pan fried uh pan fried sunflower seeds with chocolate chips is it going to focus i don't know if it's going to focus man is really small and it's dark right it's going what's going on there you go take a look so roasted sunflower seeds uh or pan fried sunflower seeds with salt and cooking chocolate chip um dark chocolate uh yeah trail mix of sorts it's very good and i got a little dry plum or apricot i guess just if i want to change but this is i've eaten too many of those so you got to do uptime maddie if you want to know it's not watch time it's uptime eight minutes nine minutes Oh, love and respect, Graham. L and R, love and respect, awesome. Smith, the legend, the man, the legend. Oh my God, I wanted that honey so bad to see that. I love the snacks and knowledge. Love and respect, awesome, awesome. Gang, I'm gonna finish up our little intro. Just farming in Minecraft. Vegan farm, <laughs> vegan farm, nice. Maddie, Daddy, I do it in other streams. I think it's a setting he has to set though yeah you can do apostrophe uptime i have eaten pumpkin uh, pumpkin sweden but from trail mix and pastries haha <laughs> pumpkin su sweden pumpkin sweden you could make some real dough if you marketed that trail mix to hipsters <laughs> that's, that's that's today's topic you could and gang we are live streaming on twitch twitch dot uh dot tv forward slash chicho live c-h-y-c-h-o-l-i-v if you want to participate in the chat 
Twitch is where you want to be at. And gang, thank you for the follows. Thank you for the subs. Thank you for using points. Thank you for the bits. Thank you for the conversations. Thank you for being here. And mods, thank you for taking care of business. Oh, pumpkin seeds. I was like, sweets, pumpkin sweets. Are there, <laughs> are there sweets that are pumpkins? <laughs> that would be cool. That would be blonde. Blonde and sweet. We do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on Parlor, VK, Minds, and Gap. We're down to four. Right on. Independence alternative. Twitter out. And unfortunately, Ella, we're leaving behind. Food is a good investment. Food is a great investment. And hello, Elder God. Pumpkin seeds in trail mix. And bread. Mm, and bread. I love the bread. The bread is awesome. Gang, we will be uploading this live stream to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho, C H Y C H O. Yeah, poor Elo, I know Cheryl. As a podcast, and that podcast should be available on your favorite podcasting platform, uh, including Spotify and iTunes. And forgot to mention, and hello, Cheryl, how are you doing? Welcome, 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 welcome back. And we do have. Uh, discord page and you can come into our chat anytime you want on twitch and type an exclamation mark social and all the social links will pop up including our discord page there okay so you're welcome to come join us there and we i don't know so 50 50 if we're going to upload this to sensor tube but definitely it's going to go on bitshoot rumble and odyssey odyssey is in full speed everything that goes on bitshoot rumble also goes on Odyssey. So we're uploading everything to three platforms and sensor tube gets whatever the sensor tube gets. Okay. And if you're on those platforms, you can support this work by liking, sharing, commenting, uh, subscribing, um, following whatever the buttons are. And uh, there's a handful of you that are supporting this work through sensor tube membership. And there's a button there gang. Thank you for the support it is because of the collective support we're getting on all these platforms that we're able to do what it is that we're doing and um, i think we're firing on all cylinders i mean i'm enjoying the content being created doing a lot uh we're finally rolling out into the modules of mathematics aside from all the videos we've created i've already started writing i'm gonna create a subsection in our discord page especially in relation to math content more on that later gang let me take this stuff down do you have any thoughts on nft what's nft you gotta you gotta let me know what these acronyms are i consume a tremendous amount of information from multiple multiple sources and multiple genres regarding multiple genres so acronyms to me it's it, it's like asking me what a number means without telling me the units right what do you think of 20 20 what like do you know what i mean okay <laughs> pumpkin sweets pumpkin sweets should be a should be a should be a thing sleepy waves i'm excited for the stream so much to talk about i recently watched a video about money um treasury printing and it's insane chicho i know how's everyone not talking about this uh some people are i mean we have we we've talked a tremendous amount about it and sleepy waves we put out a video s specifically in regards to that right talking about the m1 right if you do chicho m1 and look for videos it should pop up right uh, i mean we dedicate a whole like in asmr math i Put it all together like i spent some time put it all together and make sure the flow was there to make the loop so you so people saw where the loop occurs they don't think it goes off into the distance and it's not related to them you loop it all right what is your opinion on real estate investment real estate prices are going up uh every prices of most assets most tangibles are going up why are they going up because of what we talked about right here let me and then they change the definition of m1 right here i'll find you the video chicho m1 go to duck, duck, go 
I didn't type in Chicho M1, and you know, a bunch of videos pops up. <laughs> And I've talked about M1 before and I linked it up. So this is an hour and 22 minute video, right? Hour and 22 minutes that we talk about. Watch this video to understand current events, geopolitics, the markets, investing, and more. Here, I'll even change it and put uh, M1 in the title because I didn't put M1 in the title. Here, M1. M1. Doing this during the live stream. That way it's easier to find but here let me give you the link okay let me make sure it's there it's all correct so you can find it so people can find it okay so let me grab this for you here you go okay we talked about this and they changed the definition and then later on they changed the definition i think to masks mask the uh kicking the money flow of m1 from four trillion to seven trillion dollars in one year right seven trillion dollar went from four trillion to seven trillion in one year they increased the money supply by 75 percent right Ooh, right and we talked about we looked at it from different angles what the percentage would be and then a few months later they like f a few weeks ago right they changed the definition of m1 to include other assets now the m1 kicked up from seven th seven trillion to 18 trillion right and that 18 trillion now makes the three trillion that they dumped into the markets in one year not seem like such a huge number right it's no longer 70 75 percent of the total money supply now it's three out of 18 right so one sixth of the total money supply right so they masked it uh look man uh and everyone what do i think about real estate prices the same thing i think about um real estate investing same thing i think about investing in comic books same thing i think about investing in art same thing that i think about investing in anything right first of all it matters what you invest in right in that genre like real estate it's location 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 right location 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 that's it right like just look at that right and i'm not talking about the location that everybody's looking for it's the location that you know what's going on economically you know what's going on geopolitically right so for example if you were in let's say iraq in you had the opportunity to buy land in iraq in 2002 would you have bought it right absolutely not why because if you were following geopolitics you knew that the u.s government was lying through their teeth right to invade to build up a story so they can invade iraq right so why in the world would you buy a piece of property in a place where you know there's going to be it's going to be occupied right now if you're in if you have an in with the government and you planned your corporation or an individual that planned this invasion war of aggression right then sure after the chaos if you have no morals whatsoever if the only thing you care about is power you know to rule over humanity and build as much wealth as you can all right then if you're part of the invasion team then what you do is you set up a base there and filter u.s taxpayer money and put it into your offshore accounts which is exactly what happened right uh that's what i think about real estate that's on one extreme right if if you own real estate in some of the larger cities maybe not good if you own real estate in urban areas suburban areas maybe pretty good if you own arable land 
Mm, it might be pretty good and so on and so forth it's it's such a uh, broad question right sorry if I'm going off a little bit on it right but I just want to lay that out like it, these right now we're in a situation where all these all these terms that existed in economics for the last few decades that people felt comfortable in and stuff like that they're they become irrelevant one thing is the absolute right now that i've been saying for the last two years two three years it's a trader's market it is a trader's market right now there are certain things that are worth buying and holding right there are certain things if you want to max right if this is your game right it's a trader's market you should be selling buying selling buying selling sometimes selling short covering selling short covering selling buying God, in every direction right look into the market that you're interested in do your research and realize that there's been trillions of dollars pumped into the system and some of that money might crumbs might be thrown your way if you're interested right if that is the game Brando hits Chicho. Do you have an uh, an opinion on Amazon workers trying to unionize? I hope they do. I hope the Amazon workers get together with the Walmart workers and every other worker in the United States that are working for these large ass corporations that have been profiting up the yin yang, right? For ridiculously for the last uh, year and a half, right? Year and a bit. I hope they all get together and unionize, right? That's what I, man, it, if I had one recommendation to the workers in the United States is general strike, right? General strike, work together, unionize, shut it down until you, 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 you get what you deserve in a positive light not you get what you deserve according to what they want to dish out to you eat the crumbs eat the crumbs eat the crumbs right i want to support through tiktok sleepy waves you want to support my work through tiktok uh, brother i'll i'll get on there we just got into odyssey let me set up odyssey and then i'll pop it into tiktok and add that as well okay smith 20 sucks down with 20 <laughs> down with 20 but if you put a four in front of it now you got 420 420 rocks 420 rocks snaz tactic 33 why why are you on parlor are you a Trump supporter is 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 an algorithm can an algorithm a platform be a trump supporter can a city be a trump supporter can a town be a Trump supporter? Can a country be a Trump supporter, right? Can an inanimate object be a Trump supporter, right? Is anybody that's riding on this bus a Trump supporter? Is everybody that lives in a city a Trump supporter? Is everybody that lives in a country a Trump supporter? What? What is that? How does that work? Snaz tactic 33. See, wait, she yeah, I'm talking about your video M1. Yeah, thank God, Elder God. I want a pumpkin sweet to run America. <laughs> Trump was orange, but he wasn't a pumpkin, he was a Cheeto, not a pumpkin. Hilarious. Real estate is a bubble, everything is a bubble. Sleepy waves and gang, don't forget free Assange, free Assange, free Assange. Julian Assange is the publisher and journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capital House power to humanity. For more information, see wikileaks.org, defend.wikileaks.org, or our Julian Assange and WikiLeaks playlist on Sensor 2. Ding Bobber, my friend's Bitcoin investment strategy that is paying off huge for him and his friends have a good stable coin to invest in, like Ethereum. Meanwhile, put small amounts of money in a bunch of research 
altcoins and wait for one to blow up and and then the yeah that's pump and dumps right that's the same thing that you can do like we talked uh uh ding bobber uh, a while ago a year ago or something whatever when the market came down people said oh what should you know what's a good place to invest in wall street and i kept on hesitating i said look man, i don't want to recommend wall street i don't like wall street however if i was going to put money into wall street it would be cannabis stocks and i all i said was you know what this i named a couple I think one of the ones that went up the most, right? But multiple is crazy. It went up 30 times, right? But I said uh, I would buy a basket of all of these, like buy 10, two of them blow up. You already made your money plus some, and the odds are drag the rest, right? It's a strategy that a lot of people do, but these that only works during uh, bubbly periods, right? Sleep away, chicho, chicho something i was thinking about during your m1 video was was i don't think i properly understood inflation looking at that chart it's obvious the dollar will drop because they printed over 40 percent total amount in one year what does that that mean though will things become more or less expensive here's the kicker sleepy ways yes they printed 40 percent more dollars right if you want to think about it that way they made it available uh rapid money right uh high liquid high um what do you call it um, velocity right but what was that relative to other countries printing right don't forget the video sleepy waves don't forget the video you have to consume that in 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 in, in collaboration with this right differential yeah accumulation now for anyone that really wants to understand uh economics if you really want to know what what's really going on right take a look at this now this is the last video i put out regarding the differential equation in the thingamajiggy format and i believe it should have the link i didn't link it up yeah i should have linked it up personal finance personal finance currency money oh yeah it did so take a look at this video okay this is an important video this is about differential equation i'll give you the summary of it uh, right now as soon as i link this up so this is the video i'm talking about and if you go into the description i usually try to put reference videos and playlists and stuff in the description if you scroll down the description at the bottom you'll see playlist personal finance and investing you have the videos there but i'm referencing the following two videos personal finance currency money and the economy part one and currency money and economy part two where we talk about differential accumulation this video that i just linked up is sort of a follow-up to those two videos right and the to understand economics to understand what's going on in the markets you have to understand the averages so what it is is you want to depending on the game that you're playing you want to in general beat the averages right it's like it's not enough just to beat inflation because inflation numbers are fictitious right centralized governments put out in, in this is inflation that's inflation so inflation numbers are hokey pokey right so what you want to do is beat the averages that's what you want to do and this also applies to money supply right u.s government increased the money supply 40 percent let's assume er, all the other all the other um let's say the next 10 countries that are considered to be safe investment uh, hubs and the united states still relative to the rest of the world is a pretty safe investment place right let's assume the next 10 countries in the list increase the money supply by 80 percent right well relative to 40 percent relative to 80 percent 40 percent looks still legit right so the 40 percent increase in money supply doesn't necessarily mean that the us dollar is going to be devaluing relative to other currencies however the 40 percent money supply here and the 80 percent money supply here most likely is going to imply that the cost of goods is going to go up not their nominal not their actual cost in terms of human power but their cost relative to the fiat currency right so what you're seeing right now is rise in prices now for example one person i loaded up the comic book hall 
I th- a com- we did a comic book reading, Superman 37, right? A couple of days ago, I loaded up, and I just loaded up the comic book haul today, right? And someone on one of those videos asked me if I had Silver Surfer number one, right, from 1960s, the original run. And I said, yeah, I do have it. It's low grade. And the person mentioned that he wished they had it, but the price is too high. And I hadn't checked the price, right? I hadn't checked the price on Silver Surfer number one. And I said, oh, I do have a copy. If I come across it, we'll do a reading of it. And it's a thick one. Like, there's no way we could finish it, right? So it's a thick, sort of a larger size, Silver Surfer number one from 1960s. And I do have a copy. It's low grade, low grade. But I bought that in a lot. I bought Silver Surfer number one, two, three, five, six, seven. So I bought six of them for $232 US, throw in like $20 shipping or something. So let's say $250 US. Okay. And number three was in good shape, pretty good shape for what I remember. They're buried somewhere, right? And I bought those in 2014 for $250 US right now right now you can sit down and go do a price check let's say the surfer servers number one is graded at two let's assume it's a two right let's assume the rest of them are graded at i don't know what they were i wish i remembered right it was seven years ago right let's say the rest of them are between let's say they're four i think they were higher but let's say they're four right you do a price check $250 seven years ago that thing is going to cost you a lot more right now that to me is inflation right it's also the worth going up but you're seeing this kind of jump all over the place all over the place right the reason you're seeing this type of jump is because in 2008 trillions of dollars were given to Wall Street right it was consolidation right and that money needed to find places to go right where did it go it went everywhere it went everywhere right it went into collectibles it went into real estate it went into cryptos it went into stock market it went everywhere right you have to understand all of them connected together all of them connected together nft non fungible tokens non-fungible tokens here's here's a good explanation nfts transform digital works of art and other collectibles into into one of a kind verifiable assets that are easy to trade on the blockchain so they're digital collectibles nfts is, is that what we're talking about is digital connect collectibles right yin yang up the yin yang <laughs> nice <laughs> Is raiding with a party of 10. Ah, awesome. Thank you very much for the raid uh, last username. Apologies if I caught it late. How far? No, no, I'm not bad on the chat. Uh, but thank you for the raid and welcome to our live stream. Okay. Brando has Chicho. We just organ, uh, unionized over uh, our AV company, PSAV, big business owned by uh, Blackstone, really. Currently, we're fighting for our contract. PSAV was low, lowballing their employees and overcharging their clients. A pirates, I get business uh, and ends profit, uh, but humanity comes first for me. I am a small business. Yeah, indeed. Why? Because of self preservation. If we as human beings throw those who are. Uh, less fortunate than us under the bus throw them to the wolves then someone else is going to throw us to the wolves if we help others along to come along with us we are stronger then the people that want to throw us to the wolves they'll have a harder time if we act as one okay extremely important extremely important raid from a shield wall protect the goatee protect the goatee <laughs> make safe the city <laughs> i guess unionizing can fall into uh finance we are trying to fight for a pension high wages better medicare and annuities yeah for sure brando hits 
the union thing, the union thing. Now, by the way, we have to be realistic as well. A lot of the old school unions are corrupt. They're horrendous. They're extremely corrupt, right? There are lots of unions out there that are corrupt. However, they are not all of them. Okay, they are not all of them. There are unions out there that are working for their union members and the workers, and they have a larger perspective and they support other unions and other workers, right? There are certain unions out there that are led by the mafia, really. Okay, so in the mafia, I'm not just talking about who underground mafia, I'm talking about business mafia, right? Wall Street. So it, we can't use blanket statements. Um, I know I do as well, but we have to be careful with that as well. We have to put little stipulations in there. I just dropped almost 1,000 on acting classes, commercial training, casting site. Ah, nice. I hope you enjoy it, man. As an actor, that is a business I need to claim the deductions, but I don't want the IRS to give me a hard time. Yeah. Well, all you need to do is get one job in it, and that seals the deal. It means you are getting income from it. Hence, you have the right to do lots of write-off on it. Do not take what I say as, <laughs> as investment advice. Okay. Kebabs, how are you doing? Ichi Cho with the gang sign. Dementia man, good. Dementia man, good. <laughs> Sleepy way, Ichi Cho. 2008 money went uh, everywhere except poor people. Uh, wallets and map. Yeah, it went to Wall Street. Graham Chicho, yes. NFTs are digital collectibles, except they're tied to the blockchain, so they have a massive environmental impact without actually producing value. I don't like this NTF uh, trend. Graham, yeah, I just put out um, on the on the current events live stream that we talked about. I mentioned uh, that Bitcoin is not a currency. Bitcoin is a digital collectible, and today. This morning, I posted in personal finance, investing in personal finance discord, that I would not be holding, uh, if I was holding any crypto, I would not, I would, I would have dumped most of it by now, okay? Um, but this is not financial advice. Bitcoin can go through the roof, but I would be dumping right now, okay? I would be seriously dumping right now. Uh, sleepaways Graham. I just learned about this today. Someone t uh, sold their first ever tweet for thousands of dollars. Like what? Oh, so it's tied to something you did online, right? Absolutely. Union play politics. My own. I do believe it. Cool. And uh, my partner is in a union. Like all the nurses in British Columbia are unionized, and their union is fantastic right and it's and it's separate unions as well different based on a different locality right they're they're really good man however the system is overloaded right the demand on nurses on healthcare workers is through the roof right now right everybody's on high anxiety there's a lot of stress there people are burnt out okay and this is occurring across the board so there is a crisis there's no doubt there is a crisis right uh, and different factions are trying to sort things out okay we set up concerts absolutely hey chicho how's it going doing good uh, uh rage laugh out loud doing good 306 so uh, so Graham, the digital token is tied to content that has been created online is that correct so basically let's say i decide to sell one of my math videos give the rights to one of my math videos to someone i could put that up and say this token is associated with this digital content and whoever has this token has the rights to this digital content is that correct it's a manufactured bubble that is designed to pop and it will fold like a cheap <laughs> is it? I appreciate your insight. My, it's, you know, I, I'm sharing what I think I know, 
right grand chicho yes and no people can also steal other people's work turn it into an nft and sell it to someone else without the artist say so what because they're basically buying and selling a screenshot of a we <laughs> we browser we just happen to contain someone else's art serious like someone can take a picture of you and your face and turn it into a digital token without your consent no that thing's not gonna last as a joke right so but however the idea that you can create content right you have the rights to it my, my stuff is creative comments but i could decide to say this video to generate money this video i'm giving the rights to whoever wants this who you know the highest bidder for this video right and then i could sell that right that would be a legitimate model i'm okay with that right but it for me what you're saying is it's like pirating but but charging people for pirating i'm okay with the pirate bay right i'm okay with torrenting i'm okay with this i'm okay with this so for me i don't even know if we'll be allowed to load this onto sensor tube right i'll think about it but i'm not okay with selling someone else's content or so not even an image of someone else's content that doesn't make sense to me uh stevie way chicho so based on what you're saying on inflation certain markets depending on the relative inflation across the globe will shoot up okay does that mean that right now it's a better time to be holding money or investing in more bubble market that will potentially shoot up so here's a kicker the question is which market right is it a good idea to hold some cash right now yes right there's no doubt okay a lot of people say no there's huge inflation prices are going through the roof there's trillions in the market what happens if the there you're interested in getting into a market that you believe is a full-on bubble right should you be in that market because you want to be in that market or maybe pull out 50 percent of what you have in that market put it on cash just in case it pops and it comes down and you can buy it increase your value all right keep in mind if you sell out all completely out of that market the definition of a bubble basically means it's doubling right not doubling but it's going up exponentially right so if you pull out of a market here and it goes up like 10 times more and when it pops maybe it comes to here maybe you can't buy back in again right so you have to look at every market separately you have to look at every market separately graham uh chicho yes and no it requires some more research on both our parts if you have a personal finance chat i can bring some more info have another personal finance okay well we are doing a personal finance one right now but i would have to look into it really this potential nft boom seems to be an incredible opportunity for a new kind of counterfeiting it makes me wonder about the historical impact of counterfeiting uh, historical impact of counterfeiting that's a good question there there has been counterfeits for sure there's been counterfeit comics counterfeit money counterfeit art count there, there's people that have sold the same real estate to two different two or more different people and people fight over who owns this thing right this happened during the 2008 collapse right or scam this is um cinnamon liqueur okay cinnamon stick liqueur homemade cinnamon stick liqueur that i made no no graham this is uh personal finance i will go grab some info okay i will have to uh what do you call it look into it myself as well but i think it would be legit right for example i have a thousand plus videos uh, on sensor two right i want to generate some money get some new equipment maybe i take one of the ones that i have and give the rights away to that one right would i do that i don't know only if i'm really strung up right i probably i'd sell comic books before i did that i believe i mean the other thing is i'm creating a lot of content so i wouldn't i'm okay with selling a certain content right because i could just recreate that content that information 
right sleepy ways she chose during the 2008 scam it took them almost 10 years to blow all the money obama gave them yes i wonder how long it will take wall street to move all the trillions they just got is there such a thing as them running out of markets um yeah they're finding harder markets to invest in that's why you're seeing bubbles and absurd things right uh, as for how long it's going to take less than five i think less than two maybe okay we're in exponential uh times so it took 10 years to blow through let's say six trillion seven ten trillion right two i think it's going to take five times left I, I think within a couple of years two to five five max they're going to blow through it maybe even a year and gang don't forget free assange free assange free assange julian assange is a publisher and journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity for more information please see wikileaks.org defend.wikileaks.org or our julian assange and wikileaks playlist on censor 2 would you invest in GameStop this week? No. Television, Kevin Television. GameStop is not an investment. It's a trade. There's a big difference. A lot of markets right now are trades. They're not investment. You're gambling. Do I feel like gambling on GameStop right now? No, I, I don't. It would take energy, right? Uh, you know, you could play the bounces. GameStop dropped. A fair bit today i'm still checking the price right but to put money in i would have to look into it deeper and then i would be willing to play the bounces otherwise no right glyphtenoid looks great cinnamon stick liqueur never heard of it having a dinner salad with a dressing of honey nice brown mustard nice freshly ground hemp seeds nice from canada and minced garlic very nice very nice and free assange free assange free assange fun 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 yeah the liqueur is hitting the spot right now the cinnamon liqueur really delicious salute gang elder god elder god so what do you guys think so far sensor tube okay or not okay <laughs> i don't know you should see the glitch of sensor tube is giving us holy camoles it went through it didn't like the video we put out regarding bullies like a minute and a half video uh, of my comment regarding bullies right and it went through glitches it was demonetized a whole bunch of videos and it's added a new thing i have to do when i monetize saying you weren't mon you didn't monetize things properly last time so we have to keep it keep a track on it so is it this 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 so there's an extra button i have to pass press and it takes longer it's funny pan pan <laughs> fried sesame sesame seeds and uh dark chocolate very yummy come here you deliciousness everyone's saying silver right now yeah when everyone's saying something so You heard civil or pascal no but i didn't know silver is not going to pass gold and this comes from a geophysicist the silver is more plentiful than gold sleepy waves chicho i read some of the nasim's books thanks to you and he says that each bubble creates an even more drastic crash yeah so based on your prediction of two years does that mean that most of these bubbles like crypto housing in urban areas i don't think the housing in uh suburban it's not urban but suburban suburban areas is going to pop anytime soon i think that's just at the beginning stages of the uptick and stocks will crash again and then the u.s government will pump then again is this how the cycle works 
pretty much that's the way it's been working yeah but this time what they're doing is they're adding a few extra uh elements in their game right they're trying to eliminate cash so make everything digital so they can do whatever the hell they want but you can't okay they're bringing in certain types of passports so they can do whatever the hell they want but you can't okay um so they're putting in more restrictions for general Joe Blow, and they're going to eliminate another 20 percent of the middle class in canada united states anyway so they're eliminating a chunk of the middle class and putting in more restrictions for me and you while they give themselves trillions more graham chicho in much the same way that a lot of people can view a tweet a lot of people can own a picasso print of a painting however only one person can own the original it would make sense like you are saying for the creator uh, of that to tokenize that content as an original in the same way that an original picasso painting is worth millions what's happening is that other people are tokenizing other people's content and basically like meandering press was saying like counterfeiting yeah then i don't think it's going to last personally and the only people that are going to be trading that are traders are gamblers so people are going to be gambling with fictitious something right and that's not gonna, gonna get a foothold or devalue as far as i see it the original content right I, I don't think it's gonna devalue it i think it's just a side game right so whenever like for example if you're on a craps table right and craps table has multiple games going on right and we put out a video regarding sort of simple craps right but craps tables has multiple games going on the main game of crap is riding on the numbers but there are side bets you can make right you can throw some money to the pit right and go 49 on the hop right or 49 sorry uh 40 45 on the hop that means on one roll if you get a four and a five right someone gets four and a five you get paid right now is that the game of craps no that's not the game of craps the game of craps is r r the numbers right four five six eight nine and ten that's the main name game of craps there are lots of side bets right some side bets more people play on but the hops when you're calling them on the hops 23 on the hop right so you're calling for two and a three random people come and do that on gut feeling uh, high risk high return doesn't last long okay sleep with chicho do you happen to know why the stock market dropped this whole week why it's a f and bubble <laughs> what caused big shifts like that it profit taking right nervous hands right geopolitics like why has oil gone up uh it's gone up from negative one day negative 32 dollars to positive 62 62 dollars right now forget about the negative it was it went down it was in the low high teens and then went down to the low teens right why is it gone up six times in one year it's gone up six times in one year one of the things is read jonathan nitsan's differential accumulation that links up war increasing war with low uh oil prices whenever oil prices drop to a certain level the powers that be controlled by industry some of it by the petrochemical industry they need oil prices to be higher to be functional they start wars and create chaos right it's all connected sleepy waves so why the stock market go down could be profit taking could be bubbles the the dow jones is only connected to the top 30 stocks or whatever the hell it is right maybe they came down the internet stocks the fang stocks are through like the bubble man, bubble crazy bubble right uh there's a lot of stuff going on a lot of stuff sleepy waves Elga, it sounds like they are uh, sending integrity and equality down the river for a quick buck yeah with that NT nft thing yeah yes exactly yeah it it's not gonna last that's my take but just from what you guys have said uh, i don't see it 
I don't see it. Uh, there's going to be a lot of other there's and by the way, there are tremendous opportunities right now. Tremendous opportunities right now. Exactly, Graham. Well said. It's strange to hear stories about uh, about like what happened earlier in the month with someone s spending twenty thousand k on a uh, LeBron James highlight. We're so used to video being stamped yet shareable. So they spent they they bought a LeBron James highlight for twenty thousand dollars, but it's not the real highlight like they don't own that highlight do they sleepy ways chicho thanks for answering my question chicho it's uh wild to me that if some of the large stock plummet then everything else drops because it's connected usually when stock market adjustments occur you'll see people getting out of the it's it, it sort of there's three different market caps you can think about it the sort of the the penny stocks sort of pink sheets uh secondary markets and stuff like this uh, and i'm not even talking about the derivatives right i'm just talking about straight up stocks and then there's the mid-range stocks and then the is the high end stock people consider the blue chip stocks and stuff like this right sometimes money shifts from one sector to the other right sometimes when the bubble is bursting they sell the lower ones first and then these ones and then these ones go right sometimes these ones go first and then these ones go and these ones go so you you have to sort of keep track of the different markets uh, and ideally you want to be diversified if you're doing that stuff right more more this thing's crazy addictive crazy addictive is it going to focus I don't think so. It was focusing before, but it's not going to focus now. No. Very good. Salute. Oh, the kitty cats are going down for sleep. They ran around. I hope you guys got good snacks. What are you guys eating right now? And drinking and Graham it's almost like that one guy buying that Wu-Tang album which has only one copy and not sharing it it's all very odd to me as someone who wants to share everything why would you why would we want to hoard stuff especially digital things what's the point um, maybe it gives the product more value right they think it's better uh, some people haven't come into the mindset of sharing right they they don't want to share they don't understand the con look look at how many people came out hollywood went hardcore on this right hollywood went crazy hardcore on this right uh they brought in actors to trash talk uh torrenting and pyro pirates are bad pirates are destroying our lives and stuff like this wait a second pirating has been around for 20 25 years right with soul seek and stuff like this peer-to-peer -peer sharing and stuff like this right let's say 25 years right question is the movie industry hollywood more powerful now than it was 25 years ago 100 percent their value has gone through the roof right now the movie industry would like you to believe that pirating is taking money away from them okay if that is the case this thing's been around for 25 years and these guys are way more powerful than they were 25 years ago and they have way more worth way more value than they had 25 years ago right the number of people pirating as far as I can tell, hasn't really decreased or increased. It's about the same from what I can see, right? So if I was looking at this, I'd say these people are lying through their teeth, right? Because they've increased the copyright laws and stuff too, right? So 
there are there are industries out there that don't understand the concept of sharing and people don't understand the concept of sharing because they've been indoctrinated into not understanding or not realizing that there are human beings that we are all one and it's better to share information than to hoard information because if you hoard information that the benefits from that information will never be realized through society so will never come back to you right they're stupid definition right? that's the way i look at it they're useless to me sleep away chicho and interesting stocks you have been watching i want to follow some uh stuff uh aside from the regular gold server uh i shared images of what i've been following um i don't know if i have it i've shared it on discord if you, if you remind me i'll share it again okay mentality hoarding and being uh ownership of stuff yeah ground to change the subject a bit microsoft wants to buy discord i know i know chicho loves us <laughs> exactly we have to uh, we have a telegram uh, thing set up but telegram we don't have multiple folders for it right we need a forum so we'll look into it elder god has seen some of these things so if this thing becomes more real and discord is going to sell out to microsoft we will create a secondary uh, forum somewhere right it's more manipulative than 25 years ago and pirating has gone up at least online mm, uh, elder god man there, it was easier for me to find a lot of other things in the past than it is now really there's certain uh, well let, let, let me rephrase torrenting anyway there are streaming services you're right streaming services so pirating has gone up and these people are making way more mint than they were in the past they're lying through their teeth twist extra how are you doing what's up what's up and gang don't forget free assange free assange free assange julian assange is a publisher and journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity for more information please see wikileaks.org defend.wikileaks.org or at julian assange on wikileaks playlist on sensor tube abomination on the yacht says ram 141 hi i have a question is there an inevitable market correction what are you uh, what are you doing to prepare uh, market correction which market uh ram and every market corrects there's no there isn't a single market that i know of that goes up always it, it doesn't happen I, I don't know of one right markets always correct if they go up like this then they're going to correct they might continue to go up right and it really depends on the time frame you're looking at right we put out a video regarding time frame it's a pretty important video actually in our personal finance playlist right so if you go chicho timing markets here check out this video it's an important video dun, 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 dun. so it really depends on the time flame the fluctuation the market that you're talking about uh depends on a lot of things right uh element let's go grab in data hoarding communities things are getting shared and it almost has an air of legitimacy yeah yeah i used to use soul seek a lot to share books lectures interviews music movies documentaries everything art everything and anything you can get your hands on zabrowski chicho i'll never forget my dad getting me to download as much music as possible for them on livewire 56k modem <laughs> while those copyright lots were being disputed again <laughs> i love it i like your your dad's a browski there was a time where i had four computers uploading and downloading constantly 
actually let's say three computers and the other one was a user that i uploaded downloaded so i had three computers 24 7 uploading and downloading ram 141 sorry i was referring to the larger crash of the overall system alluded to earlier um yeah we're we're, we're in the crash right now by the way like what we're seeing right now with price increases like if you if you consider the ultimate system the ultimate system is control of currency right is centralized power so we we're seeing right now centralized power topsy-turvy going what the hell is going on right so yeah and that's rippling through everything things are changing huge uh be aware of the changes and there's opportunities to be had right so wait, chicho chicho in the last personal finance stream you mentioned several times that you can play the stocks on the way down what do you mean by this like buy them when they are going down and wait for them no 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 uh, play the market down sure you can play the bounces i mean buying puts especially shorting stocks but i wouldn't do naked shorts in this market right uh buying puts look into what puts are in the stock market just go p u t s and then stock market right and you'll get the information what puts are it seems complicated but once you do it it's not that bad except if you want to calculate what the uh what do you call it um what the premium is that you're paying on them okay i will get back on finding a finding a home world for same harbor for our community safe harbor for our communities yeah might if microsoft buys discord we have to right too bad too bad grab steve waves you can bet on stock stock to keep going down but it's riskier it's called shorting or short selling or buying puts i wouldn't short i wouldn't short sell buy puts if you're gonna bet on a stock going down so Raskia, tristan how are you doing hello hello elega chisho doesn't endorse downloading from pirate sites i do not endorse downloading from pirate sites there are streaming services available <laughs> out there Zabrowski <laughs> Chicho. We were close by in Surrey at the time. Uh, we probably downloaded off your computer. Too funny, too funny, too funny. I use SoulSeek and I use Lamwire and I use, uh, uh, oh my God, uh, you, you uh, Napster and uh, whatnot, right? Tristan, if you haven't already answered this, where do I start in stocks? Oh, where do you start in stocks? It, here's where you start, Tristan, in stocks. Go to a website that allows you to track stocks. Create a create a folder, right? Fall stocks that you're following, and pick certain companies and follow them. Check their value every day. Look at the long-term trends and read their news releases and read their uh, quarterly reports and tune into their uh, presentations yearly or quarterly uh, q a sessions that's where you start in stock market okay you f you f you learn about the market slowly follow the information look at the data mm -hmm. and then you can go from there and that's going to take you a while to figure out you can't do that in a day you can't do that in a week you have to do this for a few months before you get a feel for how the market behaves that's what you need to do before you can dive into a market right some people this is the kicker right some people hear about a market and they jump into the market <gasps> this is uh, da, 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 da. They, they've been so far they've only looked at data for a week right and then the market either goes up they may oh this is brilliant this is brilliant or it goes down oh this is crap this is crap it's like dude you only follow the market for a week and you think you're a genius because it went up or you think the market is crap because it went down like right the low poops on the low just watched that gme video and i'm buying more along 
uh, with AMC because the short volume on that stock makes no sense. But the, remember that video we put out was when was it? I forgot the date on it. The short positions might have been covered a huge chunk of it. So the short position on that might have been done, right? Data moves. Be careful. What's the difference between placing placing puts and shorting them? You're not placing puts, you're buying puts. Uh, and you're not shorting puts you you could short puts I guess you wouldn't you'd be crazy to do it but uh, you're shorting stocks sleepy ways read up on it basically puts are you're buying the rice to sell a stock for a certain period of time at a certain price so if the price goes down you still have the right to sell the stock at that price so you pay a premium right let's say a stock is trading at hundred dollars at the time right where you buy your puts and you have different strike prices right let's assume a stock is trading at hundred dollars and you buy the right to sell that stock at hundred dollars for six months right so for six months you're locking in the sale price of that thing and to do that let's say you're paying five dollars per stock right so this, that's yeah let's say let's say it's uh, it's probably going to be less but whatever let's say dollar no, let's say five dollars five dollars right so the stock is a hundred dollars you're paying five percent of what the stock is worth to lock in the possibility of selling that stock at a hundred dollars for six months if the stock goes down let's say from a hundred dollars to fifty dollars now you can still sell the stock at fifty dollars uh, or a hundred dollars right that means you are able to sell that stock at a hundred dollars when the price is at 50 so you pocket the difference so that means you're making fifty dollars per stock now remember you only paid five dollars for that for that privilege to sell that stock at a hundred dollars right so that means you're making forty five dollars profit right that's nine times your money right that's a nine time return right not bad let's say the stock goes from a hundred dollars to 150 dollars or it stays at a hundred dollars right the stock stays at a hundred dollars for six months you bought the right to sell that stock at a hundred dollars where's a hundred dollars you're even on the that price but you pay five dollars for the privilege to sell it that means you lost five dollars that's the quickie the rest is up to you lift the noise yeah those were the days those were the days uh boop jimmy went to 370 uh to usd for five minutes at one point after market amc is being shorted as as well gonna buy and hold especially now that i understand the real man brother be careful i put that video out a while ago and it's it, you know the market has changed the market has changed you're fantastic thank you <laughs> good luck man oh my god as i heard recently don't endorse yourself into a, a corner yeah don't endorse yourself into a corner uh, and if you want to watch a market that makes no sense check out gme <laughs> funny <laughs> it's a trader's market man <laughs> sometimes two months is too long for a certain trade right in the day i use kaza kaza too me too lime wire bear share i never used and never trusted napster yeah napster was hilarious i got a letter i was one of the three hundred thousand people one of the three hundred thousand people that got an email from metallica's lawyers saying that they were going to sue my ass for sharing their music i should have kept that email man printed it off and framed the damn thing right got a letter from napster right oh metallica's lawyers stop sharing metallica's music we're gonna sue your ass off man lars at that time was the biggest joke in music on internet and he still is he still is and i stopped listening to metallica after that i consider them to be garbage i know there's a lot of metallica fans out there i said i i laughed it off and continued to share their music for a month but every time i turned on metallica i listened to it for like 30 seconds and I couldn't listen to it anymore because I knew there were pieces of crap. So I turned it off and then 
I wasn't listening to the music. I hated them. Like, what a bunch of fakes, right? So I deleted all their music. And I've never carried Metallica. And I don't endorse Metallica. I don't go to their shows. I don't... He, he came out, by the way. Later on, Lars came out and apologized. Oh, I'm so sorry. The reason he apologized was because all their fans started hating on him. They stopped going to their shows. They were making fun of them, right? They became literally the biggest joke online, right? So when Lars came out and apologized, he didn't really mean it, right? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, people, that I sent my lawyers after my fans to and they're multi-millionaires right so they're sending lawyers for for loving their music right they they didn't win me back f them right and don't forget gang free assange free assange free assange julian assange is a publisher and journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity for more information see wikileaks.org defend.wikileaks.org or julian assange and wikileaks playlist never had issues even though i stopped i kept uh, on rolling for years past and after metallica <laughs> they didn't cover four uh cover at four dollars apparently so i'm hoping they didn't cover and kept doubling down while they shut it down 45 gme buy in for <laughs> funny i'm scrolling down gang regatti right now bitcoin is at 55,000 uh, k some people were estimating that will reach 300,000 k by the end of the year pretty good uh yeah i wouldn't be holding i wouldn't be holding bitcoin at 55,000 k okay and i think it's 52 right now last time i checked ralph love you chicho uh <laughs> thank you for the love <laughs> ralph uh, l if you want a free lunch never eat at the same place twice haha <laughs> jeez that's funny glyphonoid yeah they dropped the ball there i love the quote if you want a free lunch never eat at the same place twice uh see Chicho, thank you for explaining how to how to buy puts on the way down seems almost like a safer way than just following trends to be honest like you can leave it and see what happens uh, but a certain period and you lose your premium so for example if you buy it at five dollars right this you have the you buy to put at five dollars gives you the right to sell it at a hundred dollars right let's say for six months uh, you bought it for six months out right let's say for three months the stock doesn't change from a hundred dollars then the five dollars you paid for that put now only has a three month time frame on it so it's not five dollars anymore the odds are the price will drop down to two dollars right so if you've already lost three dollars any thoughts on dogecoin <laughs> yeah i like dogecoin for the longest time check this out for the longest time if you check my videos right at the bottom i say i accept cryptos right and one of the ones i listed from day one was dogecoin right or dog coin I, I always called it dog coin and people were like messaging me why is chicho accepting dog coin what a ridiculous thing i go look man my whole thing is i'm not attaching myself to bitcoin or ethereum or or more narrow or any of the single individual cryptocurrencies out there my whole thing is a blockchain right i'll accept any crypto right i don't care right and people are like oh it has no worth i'm like you guys are totally ridiculously out to lunch in regards to what the main reason for the existence of blockchain technology was was to decentralize currency right currency should be anything that me and you agree has value that's it and so we can use it as a medium exchange is bitcoin a crypto sure to a certain degree but not really because it's become a digital collectible people aren't spending crypto to buy things right they're cashing in it's an instrument now right so currency has to have that liquidity available to it okay as well as stability to a certain degree as well right 
I'm holding for now. You're holding for now. Good luck, sleepy waves. Decentralized Discord forever. Decentralized Discord forever. I hope they don't sell out, man. Glyphtono, you found my secret coin. I can't believe it. <laughs> Doge to the moon, nice. I'm gonna donate Dogecoin now. It this is fantastic. Uh, <laughs> that's not the point. <laughs> I buy more Dodge to donate, not for the whole. Good. Always old. Word. Everyone let go of that Bitcoin, Sleepy Wave says. Salute gang. Cinnamon drinks are good. Cinnamon drinks are delicious. Cinnamon liqueurs are fantastico. Fantastico. Fun little uh, personal finance investing stream. Right? I like it. I like it. Chill to a certain degree. And this is like the 11th stream that we're doing like, I think like in 11 days. So we're going to take a break after this one. Sleepy ways. There's a Bitcoin ATM machine at my laundry. It's been there for over a year. It's the weirdest thing ever. Yeah. The first Bitcoin ATM machine was in Vancouver, where I was from, where I was stationed, right? So the first Bitcoin ATM machine was there. It lasted for a couple of years. And then uh, they took it down for a reason. I can't remember what the reason was, right? People just, they didn't get the whole concept. It's weird. All right. What are you guys snacking on? This thing's too addictive. I'm going to finish it all off. I'm going to eat this thing too. Numb euphoria, Chicho. I've been watching your liqueur vids several years, man. You rock, awesome. Thank you. Salute to you. One of my liqueurs, cinnamon liqueur. Cheers, brother or sister, of course. Galiftonoid eating salad until I'm 120 years old. <laughs> Get some protein in there. You need the protein. Low pressure, no temperature. Low temp on a cast iron pan. Sunflower seeds, put some salt, mix it. Let it sit for a couple of minutes. Mix, let it sit. Do this for a little bit for like takes about 20 minutes or so you get nice pan roasted sesame seeds not sesame seeds sunflower seeds put them in a bowl and take some you can eat them right there or take some chocolate chip chocolate chips that you make cookies with throw it in there mix it all up and eat it so good lemon liqueur blue mama yeah lemon liqueur man lemon liqueur so good this is cinnamon stick cinnamon stick is really good as well strong All right but lemon liqueur is phenomenal phenomenal and are you eating the lemons eat the lemons too so good so good strong strong oh my god i am like gains Yeah, why? So Elrigo's linking out why I, I'm just reading the, I'm not going to click on it, but the title says why a $10 billion Discord sale might not be in tune with the messaging platform fans. No, it won't be. Hannah, how are you doing? Hey, Chicho. It's a 420 night for me, brother. I'm vibing. I hope you're having a good time. Awesome, awesome. Salute to you, Hannah. And by the way, your friend drew a beautiful picture. Mm. 
was it your friend no 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 did you share a picture that uh, was it your friend that drew a picture you shared on discord or was it ding bobber i think that was ding bobber my apologies the color your color is the same as ding bobber's color uh purple i got a merchino cherry liqueur citron liqueur pomegranate liqueur and honey mango liqueur Ooh, delicious you, so you got four different types going very nice numb euphoria i'm letting it sit as long as i can nice <laughs> yeah mine is i i went through one iteration the the lemons were done so i built a new one all right that one's gonna last with us for like eight years or so Graham, I can't stay much longer, but I'm working on some big things, Chicho. I'm working on lots of different streams of revenue, and I hope to gain a lot of support and traction soon. I am putting together a pitch video that a student of mine is going to animate. Nice. I will share when it is ready. This is big for me. Awesome, Graham. Glad to hear it. And glad to hear you have a student that's helping you out with the stuff, right, with the animation. That's fantastic. And it's also good for them right they're working on a project they're creating something uh that's what education should be yeah wine storage nice boop sandalo i'm off to bed now thank you so much for the lessons and understanding i am i are i, I already had a gme and amc position but your math helps me feel comfortable holding knowing the shorts will come cover someday they might have already covered be careful and if not that's the game peace and love fellow canadian gorilla gang peace and love brother i hope uh, you have a fantastic evening love the little <laughs> emotes you're putting on there of <laughs> fun and cheryl says keep it up graham indeed sea bass oh graham Thank you for taking care of business. Sivas 66 Chicho, I'm a new subscriber and I love your live streams. I'm a healthcare recruiter and your videos are helping me get through these 16 hour days. Oof. Yeah, brother, C or sister, of course, Sivas. Uh, the healthcare industry, wow, wow, wow. What a chaotic period. What a chaotic period. What a chaotic period. More power to you. And I hope. Uh, I hope it eases up soon, really. And I'm glad the content is helping out. Uh, thank you for the message. Appreciate it. Chicho, uh, sleepy ways, Chicho. Do people pay taxes on stock earnings? Yeah, for sure. As, when you sell them, if the stock goes up, you haven't realized the gains, you don't sell, you don't pay taxes on it. But as soon as you realize your capital gains, you have to pay taxes. Does that mean that? wall street also pay taxes on their earnings no if you don't realize it if you bought a stock at a dollar it goes to a hundred and if you haven't sold it that's paper gains no taxes right as soon as you sell it as soon as you convert it from a stock holding to fiat currency on that note as soon as you cross from one system to another system as soon as you cross a node then if it's a node into the realm of fiat currency and centralized control then that is recorded and that's a capital gains you have to deal with it okay i grab to show someone has to sleep waves laugh out loud uh, really counting on that shorting oh my god sorry i was reading that article no no worries how would you make cinnamon liqueur i took cinnamon sticks put them in a jar and these are cinnamon sticks i used to make uh, what do you call it applesauce and crab apple butter right so i took those cinnamon sticks put them in a jar put a little bit of sugar not much whoop, same deal sugar vodka okay you can do it with gin too i guess Yeah, I did a cinnamon liqueur, All right? And you pay tax on dividends. Yeah, and dividends as well, right? Of any stocks you own. Yeah, you pay tax on dividends on any stocks you own. Uh, in certain countries, you have tax-free accounts as well. Like in Canada, we have a tax-free savings account. So any trades you do in that account, the capital gains you're not paying tax on. 
dividend returns you're not paying tax on it's a tax exempt place where you can gamble if you want to think about it that way okay elder god discord is seen as a uh, natural fit for xbox microsoft's gaming console and in particular is xbox live multiplayer service which today was rechristened xbox network is that what they're doing it microsoft has already signals its ambitions in incorporating a social media element to its xbox business but they already have one as well as targeting younger consumers mm, okay when it's failed attempt last summer to buy the u.s operation of tiktok after mr trump forced this chinese owner to divest the business <laughs> i wish they bought tiktok <laughs> right i hope they don't they don't buy discord right and uh, seriously think think about this microsoft with all its resources can't develop their own social network to basically do exactly what discord is doing of course they can why do they want to buy discord because they want to eliminate competition right so they're not doing a buyout because they can't roll out their own service right they're doing a buyout because they want to kill the competition that's why microsoft wants to buy uh, buy out discord right and that's why facebook bought out instagram right kill and control sleep with chicho i swear craigslist is the only place on this planet where you can make a traction and not pay taxes um the garage sales and gang don't forget free assange free assange free assange julian assange is a publisher and journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity for more information see wikileaks.org defend.wikileaks.org or our julian assange and wikileaks playlist on sensor two sleepy waves chicho wow i wonder if the u.s has a tax exempt banking system too for gambling i, I don't know like in canada if you win money gambling you don't have to pay taxes in canada if you win money on a lottery ticket you don't have to pay taxes in the united states you do okay so as far as i know there are no capital gains tax free bubbles that you can do things in in canada there are okay numb eu euphoria ps plus has a huge tax in the uk ps plus ps plus yeah and by the way gang keep this in mind uh centralized power is rolling out a lot of taxes uh for everyone except the elite okay so they're coming in for more tax revenue because they're bankrupt right so they're printing a lot of money so they're gonna come looking for more taxes because they've gone into major deficit and they want to basically control more right so it's crazy glyphtenoid tiktok uses houses not studios uh, to make a lot of the content on their new york Andrew Yang wants to turn New York into a TikTok farm and he's running for mayor there. Not sure if he won or not. Uh, I, I got a feeling Andrew Yang might win, but Angie, Angie, Andrew Yang is garbage. PlayStation Plus. Okay, PlayStation Plus has a huge ta has a huge tax in the UK, does it? Cool. Well, no, not cool. But <laughs> yeah, it's crazy honestly has a shot sleepy way says the glyph noir regarding andrew yang he honestly has a shot i live in new york and he's one of the main people uh, running here i hate andrew yang though yeah me too i don't like him i'm more curious if chicho would be posting dancing videos on tiktok the decentralized disc <laughs> I gotta get that TikTok thing going. I was, I just, I'm glad we're on Odyssey now. We got to prove for the point system thing. So I'm actually about to do a sync with Odyssey and YouTube. So, from what I understand, the sync, when I do it from Odyssey to YouTube, should be able to transfer all of our videos automatically to Odyssey. It should, it'll take a while, 
right and all i'm waiting for is the coins to go up above 15 or 20 that way i can give 0 0.01 points on odyssey per video so it'll cost 10 let's say 12 uh coins i'm only at six right now so i gotta wait until the coins go up for me to be able to sync it and then once that's done we'll we'll start doing the TikTok thing the best housing investment opportunities are in canada the country has the best real uh state haha <laughs> zoot how are you doing uh, and by the way you're not wrong in that regards but it's not really investment opportunity in real estate what it is is canada has been a, a laundering hub for big money for multiple years just money coming in without any regard of where that money is coming from that's what the government set up screwed over canadians and basically allowed international funds to launder money through canada's real estate market crazy crazy sleep away she does patreon take a cut from your payouts yeah for sure patreon does paypal does ebay does everybody's taking a cut everybody's taking a cut <laughs> crazy <laughs> crazy at some point at some point there's going to be platforms coming up where they say you know what we don't want to be on wall street we're not looking to become billionaires we're looking to provide a system for humanity to be free right and we're going to make money we'll make good money so we can buy our houses buy our land but we don't need multiple homes and multiple lands and to compete with the buffets and all those pieces of whatever you want to call them in the world we're here to work for humanity not for centralized power right and then and then let the information flow it's awesome that you speak about things like this yeah it needs to be done number uh, uh euphoria but i'll have to think about if we're going to upload this to sensor tube or not probably not maybe sleep with she show who is that bad for why why is that bad for citizens of canada if the laundry money wouldn't that increase the owner's property value yeah but what's going to happen is it, it, i'll give you two examples of why it's bad first of all property value goes up taxes go up there's been a lot of people in canada especially the elderly that haven't been able to afford the taxes of the of their property they have because they didn't account for their property going up like five times or ten times where all of a sudden their taxes have gone up that much right so there's a lot of l older people senior citizens that have had to sell their homes that they plan on retiring in okay dying in that they've been living in for a long time because they couldn't afford the taxes right they had to go into debt to be able to pay the taxes the other problem is new home buyers right the youth can't compete with this they can't buy houses because international funds are coming in are outbidding the the youth that are thinking about setting roots in a community and raising a family or just setting roots and being there as single individuals or partners or whatever they are as a community right so they haven't been able to buy homes right so they become a surf uh serfdom right they don't own property they're renting property another problem is salaries of workers have not increased relative to the price of property right so price of property a house in the last 10 years in canada has gone up let's say five times well wages haven't gone up five times so those people that are making certain wages they can't afford to buy the property right it's screwing over and it's destroying communities uh, uh, and uh, in Vancouver there was a huge way where a lot of restaurants that have been there for a long time had to close their doors because the taxes went through the roof because the city reimagined the taxes and they weren't taxing the the people based on 
what was there right the building that was there what the business that was there they were taxing that piece of property based on what could be there just imagine right they were taxing that property based on what could be there so let's assume there was a piece of real estate that only had one story building on it right and there was one business there right so that business is making whatever it's making right and it's getting taxed whatever is being taxed right the city came along and said oh that property you could have a 10 story building on there and there should be 10 businesses on there of the same type so we're going to tax you 10 times what this is being taxed oh shit. what oh crap closing doors right we're out there's so much bad about this is unbelievable not to mention all of that money international money is, that is coming into canada being laundered through the laundered through the real estate where is that money coming from right who has been getting hurt uh like what, what is it like people people were really pissed off about blood diamonds but they're not pissed off about blood money right saudi money coming in into canada to buy real estate to park their money here why are we allowing that saudi money that is being made by butchering yemenis starving a whole country and waging war why are we allowing that right it's it's despicable what centralized power does it's despicable these pieces of humans these pieces of you ah the qc warrior how are you doing long time long time being a billionaire makes you a slave to the system free your mind free your mind sleep with you show i feel so bad for so many people who are looking for personal finance videos and get more propaganda about valuing wealth and looking uh to tours like alan musk buffett etc as role models gross gross indeed right and it's thousands of these little uh, personal personal finance gurus on youtube selling this crap to you youth people i don't know what's going to happen in the in the limit here here's a kicker sleepy waves that's a learning process it's people like our education system central education system is crap right but people have to bear the responsibility for their own ignorance okay really it just needs to happen that way okay you make a mistake learn from your mistakes oh we've got the kitty cat somewhere where you shouldn't be i'm just looking at the kitty cats community is the greatest fear of centralized power indeed i agree with elder god community is the greatest fear of centralized power i think the stream can definitely go on youtube we didn't go ballistic mode yeah taxing on what would be there though the city is insane insane maybe sleepy Zabrowski Chicho, some condo and townhouse insurance premiums shot up. Yeah, that as well. 180% in lower main last year, too. Yeah, Zabrowski. Well, I have family in Vancouver that their insurance company said, Oh, we can't cover you anymore. And they're like, What? But you have to have insurance to own property. They were able to find an insurance company, like an underground insurance company, like that um, gave them insurance. Right. but how long is that going to last which is insane 180 percent right so and it was a lot more than that like the premium was this much and then they had to go up like five times six times it was like whoa right milky provider we allow anything we're allowing a whole nation to be guinea pigs on an on yeah whole world the qc warrior it's been a long time indeed i'm catching a stream every once in a while awesome qc warrior good to see you brother oh where's the kitty cat kitty cat's gone up into a place where the kitty cat shouldn't be i'm gonna have to fix that up <laughs> and we're, we're regular testing and we're in a mess i don't think everyone needs to get a yeah we'll stay away from the v talk and gang let's call the stream okay good conversation thank you for being here um we did talk about a fair bit of stuff uh, and it's important to have this discussion right qc warrior 
downtown Montreal to destroy some shops to build new condo towers. There's like five cranes in a kilometer. Yes, unfortunate. I like Montreal, man. Sleepy way, Chicho. Leave the kitty cats to be free, bro. <laughs> no, you gotta, you gotta train. You gotta train, right? There's certain places they can't go for their own safety, right? So, it just has to be, right? It's like kids. You have to train your kids. You can't let the kids go run crazy wild, right? Quick, get a good question in. Quick, <laughs> thank you for answering. My pleasure, gang. Gang. I hope you have a fantastic day, fantastic evening, fantastic morning. I am on Patreon, patreon.com forward slash chicho, C-H-Y-C-H-O. If you want to follow this work, if you want to support this work, if you want to know what this work is about, Patreon is a great way to do so. For those of you that have been supporting this work on Patreon, thank you very much for the support, gang. It is in large part because of your support that we're able to do this, and we all appreciate it. Okay. I do uh live stream on twitch twitch.tv forward slash chicho live c-h-y-c-h-o-l-i-v-e if you want to participate in the chat twitch is where you want to be at and gang for those of you who are supporting this work on twitch thank you very much for the support for the sub for the follows it is in large part because of the cumulative support we're getting on these platform that we're able to do this and gang thank you for the follows thank you for the subs apologies about not catching them okay and mods thank you for taking care of business we do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on parlor vk minds and gap you can follow the work there and you can come down to our twitch channel anytime you want and type an exclamation mark social and all the social links will pop up including our discord page at the bottom there that we have so you can join the conversation there we have a few hundred people there sharing information which is fantastic element matrix i'll be ready in case it goes i'll go on this okay we will be uploading the audio of this live stream to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho chycho is a podcast and it should be available on your favorite podcasting platform including spotify and itunes and sleepy wave says it's okay for us evil to hope hi choo choo <laughs> sleepy waves has, uh, has said that this should be okay to load to sensor tube so we'll load it up on sensor tube and it will be on bit rumble and odyssey and for those of you that want to support this work on those platforms you can like you can share you can comment uh you can follow and if you're on youtube sensor tube you can join sensor tube membership and there's a button down here and there's a handful of you that have supported this work on that platform thank you very much for the support gang i hope you guys have a fantastic evening uh i hope you have a fantastic morning fantastic day and i'll announce expect at least a week break before we start doing another set of live streams i got a lot of videos to process and take a look at and upload stuff gang sorry i missed no worries evil to hope i'll this i'll have this up in the next uh, few days probably take me five or six days to catch up gang i'll see you guys soon i hope you have a fantastic fantastic day and thank you for being here bye everyone